Well, the great big bait boat debate. Um, it's uh, probably the technology that divides the most opinion. People um, think it's cheating, which um, if you are an angler who actually takes the time to consider everything and you look at the technology at your disposal, um, it's far from that. In fact, it's actually a science to learn to use a bait boat effectively, how to release a rig from it so that the bait lands um, on top of your rig, how to find spots. And I think the reason I love the, the, the carp lounge uh, technology is basically because you're using stuff that I've used on a, on a dinghy before. You've got an echo sounder. I'm using stuff that I've never done before, which is the autopilot system. Um, I've had a the sort of first demonstration of it and it's, it's magnificent to know that you can go around, find a spot, select it, save it and have a home button and do everything you need, sync your line, do all of that stuff nicely and the boat's coming back, you're not worried about it, you know, doing one thing first and the other thing second. You can do everything correctly on time is, is just well, it's German precision engineering. I wouldn't expect it from anywhere else but Germany, to be fair. Certainly wouldn't have come from England. <laughs> um, what else do I think is a major asset? Um, fortunately, I've been fishing um, since the early 90s. I've learned to cast. I've started from the very beginning up to being able to fish at 150 meters, casting and spotting and doing everything effectively at big range. Um, However, there have been instances where I've used a boat. Um, I've fished in South Africa. The furthest I've ever fished was 550 meters with a boat. And I remember thinking then, wouldn't it be good if I had a bait boat just to be able to take the rig back out at night? And um, now I have, I have something that can work. Um, I believe that the actual technology of the uh, echo sounder and the autopilot will work to, is it 600 meters? And the boat, the boat will go up to one, one point, one point, one point two kilometres. So if you ever have enough line on your reel <laughs> and you know where you're going, you can you can fish some pretty crazy uh, situations. But the other thing I love about a bait boat, and this is a bit of a, a slightly wilder um, suggestion, um, in this day and age, there's not enough kids getting into fishing, and I actually think something like a bait boat is the nearest we get to a remote control car, to an Xbox, um, these things that keep kids inside and not really going out fishing. And I think if one kid watches me on television use this boat and thinks, do you know what? I quite like the thought of going fishing and using a boat. Then if that gets more people to go fishing, then I think it's an amazing thing. Um, it's not for some people, um, but I've always been a, what I would call an early adopter of technology. Um, I will always be one of the first to try something because I'm intrigued, I love learning. I'll never judge anything until I've used it myself and then I just give my view of using it, not what everyone else has said before me. Um, and I absolutely love it. I love casting, I love spotting, I love doing everything, but I also love um, the ease and the precision of using a bait boat. And also knowing you're fishing in this particular situation, a really quite weedy lake now, the weed has come up and using the, the um, Raymarine app and the echo sounder going out there, it's like a forest in parts, but then you, you swing, swing left, swing right, you map an area. And while you're mapping the area, you find a clear spot and you can stop it, save it. And that's a spot and you can take a rig on the money and, and you're fishing well. So uh, for me, I, I, I really like the opportunity to be able to blend the approach and so not cast in a lead in amongst fish. I always think they can put up with bait landing on their heads, catapulting boilies, throwing stick, even spotting. But sometimes the sound of a lead on lakes, they just don't like it. And where they do allow bait boats, then you know the RT4, um, there is nothing better on the planet. Um, it really is. Um, the Germans didn't make a Ferrari, but it's a Ferrari when it comes to a bait boat.